For both of you guys, how are you feeling about the strength of the forward position right now, individually and as a, and as a group? Yeah, uh, I mean, I think it's something. We have three good players, uh, especially at the center slash four. Uh, right now, between me, Karim, and Ty, and even Kaiser helping us out at the four as well. Um, but I think that we definitely need to bring in more uh, in our exhibition in the scrimmage game. I think that we both, we've both we all been critiqued a little bit, and I think uh, that he's right in his critiques. Uh, we've been working hard all week trying to get ready for his first game and uh, trying to start the season right for the bigs. Yeah, like, like Sean said, we had a lot of different players. As far as me being able to shoot the ball and play outside and inside, uh, Tyreek and Sean being able to play inside and be more physical guys, and Trayvon and uh, Kaiser can play at the four, uh, power forward spot. Uh, it'll help us in, uh, in the future. Another yeah. question for both you guys. This is your last season of college basketball for both of you. What is your mindset coming into game one and knowing it's your last game one of your daily prayers. Yeah, um, I mean it's it's exciting and uh, also kind of nerve wracking at the same time. It's you know last go around. You want to do your best. You want to you know have this season that we all think that we're capable of, and I think uh, everybody else thinks we're capable of, capable of. Um, so really, just trying to be the best team that we can be is what we we're I think as seniors looking to do. Um, for you, Sean, Chris obviously had some strong words about your performance against mm -hmm. Thomas Moore. Um, how did you process that stuff, and what have you done this week to try to build off of that? Yeah, yeah, I've been working with Coach Pegues. We watch film. Uh, we've been in the gym. I uh, did a little extra conditioning to make sure I can go uh, harder for longer. Um, you know, his critiques are, might sound harsh, but, you know, we, we practice every day. It's kind of is what it is, words are words. Um, so, you know, it's just a matter of turning around and uh, trying to move forward from here. I'm uh, looking forward to, obviously you've had the exhibition uh, games, but looking forward to the first regular season game here at CentOS with the crowd and the energy in this building. Um, what, are, what are your emotions looking forward to tomorrow's game? Uh, uh, in exhibition, I think our fans did a great job. You know, I love uh, how loud they were, uh, how much energy they brought into the game. And you know, that's kind of what you want uh, from a home court advantage. Um, excited for tomorrow. Do you guys have any say in the music that gets played before the game? I was left out of that conversation. Oh, were you? <laughs> yeah, we have a group. Uh, what, is, what is this group's fascination? What is it about this group that fascinates uh, them with Lil Uzi Bird? Would you care to comment on that? Uh, go ahead. Yeah, we have a group text message uh, that doesn't include Sean because he doesn't use an iPhone. But. Uh, <laughs> Everybody else in the team, I, uh, I bet, will uh, agree with Lil Uzi except Sean. Sean, just checking. You don't have a flip phone, do you? I don't, no. A <laughs> galaxy. Sean, when you guys um, prepare for Morehead State, they don't have a guy over 6'7", I believe. Um, Thomas Moore provided some matchup problems, but they were also small. How do you, um, especially just the front court in general, approach a game where you're going to have a lot of smaller guys and, and outside shooters? Uh, I think obviously we need to play better as the bigs, but um, in general, I, I don't think we approached it bad. Uh, you know, I think we played hard. Um, I think that just conditioning played a bit of a factor for us, so we obviously got to keep working on that. And uh, just a matter of demanding the ball, I feel like, more. Um, you know, getting two shots in a, a game where they don't have a guy, you know, really 6'5 or above uh, isn't really something ideal for a big. Um, so honestly, we had, it's not like anybody wasn't sharing the ball, but I think our matter of running the floor and kind of demanding the ball more um, and trying to really take advantage of that mismatch is going to be something that we look to do. Sean, you've been here for four years now. You've seen a lot of different Xavier teams. How ready is this team to start the season compared to years past? Do you feel like you know, the learning curve is, you guys are far along on that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've I've had, I've had some really talented teams, uh, especially my sophomore year stands out to me the most with uh, the way our regular season went. Um, but, you know, I, I don't think that this team is at any point where it's like, hey, we're done, we're at the pinnacle, we're ready to go. Um, I think that we strive to be there in March. Um, so there's going to be a learning curve for us. We got, you know, a handful of young guys on the floor, a lot for us. Um, and we got some older guys that are going to try to bring it along. So it's kind of a combination. I don't know if there's 
really a leveling point. Um, I just know where we started uh, versus Ohio State in our scrimmage to where we are now has been, you know, a couple of steps forward. So we're just going to keep going that direction. John, there's a lot of uh, a lot of buzz out there about you guys. Mm -hmm. You can pick up on this too. I mean, I'm sure you watch television, watch Sports Center, or whatever. Guys picking you to go to the Final Four. I think somebody even has you as a national champion. What do you think about talk like that at this time? Of um, we try to take it one game at a time. You know, we're uh, uh, st we still have a lot of work to do. You know, as we can see uh, from our exhibition and our scrimmage, we're now where we want to be uh, at the second. But we're working towards that goal every single day. John, you want to weigh in on that? I mean, is that a point of discussion for you guys? What's the uh, what do you feel about that kind of buzz around? Yeah, I mean, we have team goals. I think uh, our team goals are really all that matter. Um, People say what they want to say, uh, but whether it's above or below where our expectations are, it doesn't really matter. It's just you know, talk is talk. We got to we got to prove it on from start uh, on Friday tomorrow, all the way through the season until the tournament. One more question, Carol. Did you see your uh, brother's reaction to the jump ball last night? Yeah, I did. did you talk to him about that? I didn't talk to him about that, but uh, it was uh, crazy. What was your take on his uh, reaction to the ref? Um, I think the ref threw the ball towards him, and then the other guy didn't even jump the ball. I thought they were going to do the jump ball again, but I guess they let it play. For both of you guys, uh, going back to Ken's question about what the prognosticators say about you guys, would you rather be in those conversations, or would you rather Xavier not? Be included in that stuff because I mean there's a there's a compliment in there. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. It's uh, you know it's a good thing that they're talking about us, but uh, you know in the end it doesn't matter until we prove anything. So it's it's not a not don't put us in that conversation, but definitely uh, we don't want to take it for granted. Yeah, like like you said, uh, it's a good thing that we get recognized uh, as one of the nation's uh, top schools, but it doesn't mean anything uh, if you don't go out there and prove it.